So you, you have to know the facts and, and follow the history. For that huh? Yeah, a lot of brothers and sisters, they went crazy. They thought that was that was it. Blacks are going to be liberated. And you're worse off than you were um, prior to them um, getting in office. They said it was the perfect plan. All he did was pull on your heartstrings with that dude. And as soon as he got in the office, he gave you the opium. You understand? All these people getting shot and, and getting killed. You think Barack Obama couldn't do something about that other than make a little quick speech? It's a bunch of bulk. Even, even food stuff is coming up every year, man. Barack Obama signed that. He, he, he continued the draft because what happened is um, uh, Bush signed the paper, but Barack Obama is not continuing. So, you know, our people need to wake up, man. Our Savior is Christ. If you think of a white man going to save you from heaven, you're crazy, man. So Christ is a dark man with what are you? Go ahead. Right, right, because you remember the first thing Barack Obama did was when he got into office, he took all, he took billions and billions of dollars and bailed out the Wall Street fact There you go. That's what he did. He took the money and bailed out the Wall Street bankers or the Wall Street guys. Okay, it was the, the most money ever transferred in the United States. Well, uh, right, to break, bring them out. And that was supposed to trickle down to the middle class and the poor, which was a bunch of lies. Too big to fail. Oh, right, those Wall Street yeah. cats just ran <laughs> with that America, money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that was the plan. They, listen, any president that's in there is in there for the world bank. It's already set up by the Rockefellers and the Rockchilds and the so-called devils out there, Queen Elizabeth and so-called Prince Charles and all them devils. That's already planned to, to, for their agenda. And their agenda is the New World Order. Right. To put you in concentration camps. Right. Okay? And to murder you. That's their agenda and that's the plan because they believe in population control. They realize that it's too many people and eventually the people are going to get together and overthrow them. Right. So they say, look, let's overthrow them before they overthrow us. Right. So let's create um, situations, tension situations like Baltimore, which that's not to say that the people ain't rising up in Baltimore, but they're capitalizing in that. That's a way for them to send a military in there right. and start martial law. Right. See how martial law reacts. ISIS okay, put you in concentration camp. Right. Right. right, ISIS yeah. and all of that. It's now, that's not to say that people in, in Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan is not rising up against America and Britain because they are killing their people, they're raping the women, and they're doing a lot of stuff in there. But America and, and Britain and them, they try to capitalize on it. Right. When the people rise up and they got their uh, secret um, CIA agendas and CIA right. people in there causing uprise too, so that they can have a create a, a chaotic situation. So through chaos, they believe in through chaos, that's how they rule. But what's gonna happen is gonna get too chaotic for them. And the people gonna override them. Give me one in um, second edges real quick. Second edges nine and two. The people gonna override them, man. It's gonna be worse than what they expect. See, they think that they're just gonna be able to send the military out here and kill people and put people in concentration camp. But it's not gonna go like that. This is of the Lord, this is of God. He gonna have the spirit on the people to override and, and destroy these people, man. Just like in all the other empires. Egypt, the Roman Empire, Greek Empire, Babylonian, all the other empires fell. Okay, give me that, second edge is nine and two. Okay, let's show that we at the time of the end. Everything should be, everything has an end. Everything has an end, but it's not the end of the world. Is the end of the rulership of the so-called Europeans. That's what it is. Because it's, the Bible says, as in the beginning, so should it be in the end. Right. Who ruled in the beginning? We ruled in the beginning. So should it be in the end. Read 2nd Ezra 9 and 2. 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the, it is the very same time where the heist will begin to visit the world which he made. Now, how is God going to visit the world which he made? Come on. Cut. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be earthquakes, when there shall be earthquakes, come on, and uproars of the people, and uproars of the people, all over the world, people are, are, are rising and uproars now. Not just in America, over there in Israel, they said the Ethiopians yeah, was right. rising up. That's right. When, when, when the Baltimore thing was going on, okay. So all over the world now, people are rising against an oppressed government. Come on. Good. And uproar the people in the world. Come on. Verse 4. Then shall thou well understand. Then you must understand this. Come on. That the Most High spake of those things from the beginning. That you should know. You should be looking at the signs to know 
when the end is near. Come on. That they were before thee even from the beginning. Come on. For like as all that is in made in the world had a beginning. All and in an the end. world. Stop reading again. Like, for like as all that is made in the world has a beginning. Everything there's a beginning, come on. And an end. And there's an end. Nothing lasts forever. Right. That's just common sense. Right. Nothing lasts forever. Your job doesn't last forever. Right. Relationships doesn't last forever. Stores don't last forever. So what makes you think this place is gonna last forever? People right. is crazy in their mind. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. Everything has an end. Right. And the end is near. Right. The end is being manifest, but people are in denial. Right. People don't want to see the end come. Right. Right. Because they're so caught up in a chaotic life. They enjoy this life. We become, this, this place is totally, the morals is gone. Material world. A material world. Vanity. Foolishness. Selfie. Right. People walking down the streets with their cell phones, <laughs> taking pictures of oh, each cool. other, talking about selfie. Now they got selfie sticks looking at each other and taking pictures every time you get out of a car walking or you get traffic. out of the restaurant or you get out of the subway. You got a selfie. Or walking through traffic. Or walking through traffic. <laughs> and you think we ain't gone? You think as a society we ain't vain and foolish, man? You see what I'm saying? But they do that. They do that. They do that to keep us blind, like from right, what's right, really going right. on. You know what I'm saying? Like distractions. Exactly. exactly. Like everyday life trying to keep exactly. us down. And it's working for a lot of people. And that's why the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Okay? Because the majority of people is not going to see it. They really think that this, is, you know, for you to take your damn cell phone out and to be walking down the street all the time taking a damn selfie of yourself is foolishness. But the majority of people can't see that. This vanity world, this Facebook, internet, everything is on Facebook, everything is on Twitter, everything, everything, your whole life. And that's just another way for the government to watch you. Because they know where you where you at with Facebook. They know where you at on, 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 on your page at all times. That's just another way to cell phone. Just another way for them to keep track of you. Say something. Okay, the, the, go ahead. And the brother said about Facebook, the guy that started Facebook, oh, come on, just want to say something. Yeah, go ahead. The guy that started Facebook, or Jewish guy, he said the American people are dumb. No, he started Facebook, but he said the people are dumb because they're giving all that information. Majority of crime committed by, by certain people, right? What happened? They put the information on Facebook. That's why the NYPD cop gets them, man. What happened to this brother the other day? He murdered his friend and they put a he put the information on Facebook and they called it, they came right by his house and got it. <laughs> Stupid, man. That's what dumb yeah, and blind. You know what the Russians say? The Russians say American people are stupid, man. You know in Russia, you don't see people walk with cell phones on the street like that. You see, you see, you go on a train, everybody's on a cell phone. Yeah. You know, the moment they get in the train, you don't see nobody with the Bible. Nobody. Everybody's on a cell phone, they're drinking their coffee, they get bored and stuff. You know what? Let me get my cell phone. They don't, you know, you know there's no reception in the, uh, in the subway. You know what I'm saying? But they're in the train station, man, and they're, they're so bored with their life, they have to get on the cell phone, man. They don't know what to do. Now, what do they get on cell phone to do? Look up numbers? Because you can't get, they no internet system and um, service, they ain't no Wi-Fi in all the subway, you know what I'm Some trains though, they got Wi-Fi now though. No, I'm talking about in the, inside the trains. Yeah, you they know, got Wi-Fi in some. All the trains moving, I'm talking about. Why are they moving? Why are they moving? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're bored, man. They don't have nothing but books. So, you know what? Let me read something about history. Everybody's on a damn cell phone. You know, it, it, makes, it makes you smile and say, these people are real damn dummies. That's stupid. They don't know nothing else, man. They keep, they keep, they keep. The job of the powers that be is to keep ignorance always in front of you. Things on a sixth grade level. I told you that in the pale horse, the old pale horse, uh, William Cooper, he said, keep, 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 they just into pleasure and what feels good, but things of a deep, of deep knowledge, they don't care. They don't care about that. Um, give me Isaiah 61. They don't care. They don't care about that. You understand? So when we come out here and bring, do you know what it is? The knowledge that's on, on the masses of the people, that's like crack. You understand? So the Bible is the cure. That's the rehab. So when you when you bring out the Bible, telling you got to change your ways, they fight you tooth and nail on. Because they're so pulled up into this a spiritual matrix, they don't want to come out of it. Read everything. Check this out. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Uh -huh. Arise, shine, for the light is come. The light is the spirit of Christ. You understand? 
Why is the truth the Bible?